Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabatifillah So as a piece of advice in general For our youth The youth of today Because the youth of today are confronted with things that many of us could not have imagined. The severity of the level, as Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he mentions the two ways that the shaitan comes, and that being ma'asi, or oh, being through shubahat and shahwat. Shubahat meaning doubtful things, doubtful issues. And the shahwat meaning through sinfulness wickedness and when you think about with the types of social media the various types of social media the devices that we have the stimulus that we see and hear you know we're bombarded with music wherever you go on the earth you are bombarded with images which are not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are and in fact you can import those images and those the muharramat of the sounds into your home wherever you are whether you are in Mecca or Medina whether you are in Seattle Washington whether you are in Oregon whether you are in China it doesn't matter but the shaitan is vigilant and now there is a great ease with which disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is spread and there are so many wicked opportunities, if you will, wicked opportunities to do sin. The shaitan is ever vigilant in inviting us to sin, to the shahwat. So the youth are faced with things, unprecedented forms of ma'asi and sinfulness, and unprecedented forms of kufr and bid'ah. So this is why there's an even greater need to immerse yourself in the Quran and to immerse yourself in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and on top of that righteous companions that you need people around you who remind you of the book in the Sunnah it's not simply enough that you have Muslim friends because how many Muslim friends are in the club how many Muslim friends go to the strip joint how many Muslim friends smoke lots of weed how many Muslim friends drink alcohol? How many Muslim friends go clubbing? So, and this is related to brothers and sisters. So this is why it's imperative to begin to reform ourselves by surrounding ourselves with good. And the people of good, people are gonna remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People are gonna sit down with you and remember an ayah to do something, some dhikr. Dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the ones who never have Allah on their tongue, then there's la khayr fihim. There's no benefit in being with him. The Prophet ﷺ said that the person is upon the religion of his companion. So that means if you hang around with people who disbelieve in Allah, of course, you're going to be influenced with disbelief and perhaps even go to disbelief. If you hang around with people from Ahli Iman, but they are weak in their faith, then more than likely, unless you are giving them Tao, unless you're the pillar of strength, you are going to be influenced by their deviance. So it's imperative to surround yourself with khayr. It's imperative, imperative to have good, righteous companions. Those who can remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are some simple advice. That's some simple advice. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم